What's up guys, I'm here from everything and welcome to this new video. So at the October 18th event, Apple briefly talked about object tracking in Final Cut Pro. And this went unnoticed by a lot of people, but object tracking and cinematic mode editing is finally in Final Cut Pro by default. Now in this video, I'll be taking you through the entire process of object tracking. So without any further ado, let's get into the video. Alright, let's talk about object tracking. I'll start off with making a new library. Now let's make a new project and name it object tracking. Let's keep the resolution to 4K and 14, 4096 to 2048 and 30 FPS. That should be fine. Let's click OK. Let me just drag this video into the timeline. I've recorded this specifically for this. And let's just resize this to uh, fit the 2 is to 1 aspect ratio we chose. And if you notice something about this video is that I've always kept this part with the text in frame and that's for a reason. And as you can see, as the video progresses, it always remains in frame. That's because we are going to be tracking that part of the video. Now, let me just decrease the volume to the minimum and we're going to stabilize this clip first. Stabilizing took just a second or so and we're going to make this into a new compound clip. Uh, just for the sake of it. It's not gonna do anything different. Now, let me just choose the basic title because that's the most basic thing we can think of and Let me just drag this on top of this part Now as you can see the tracking part has now appeared now I'm gonna track these things right here this text now. Let's go here and I'm gonna keep this really small and I've chosen to track this Apple logo right here it is quite the perfect match for this situation and we are just gonna click on analyze this will analyze the entire clip within seconds to let us know or to le let us track the object we've selected so let's start with analyzing it awesome as you saw it it tracked it perfectly now we can write the title as apple pencil um, now let's go to bold and let's just keep it right here Let's uh, rotate this a little bit and I think this looks fine uh, It might not look the best rotated. Uh, maybe we'll keep it a bit high up there Now let's click on play As you can see the Apple Pencil text is now levitating above the Apple Pencil and it is in tracked motion Now this is a little bit of an extra part. Let's cut that off but yeah, overall this works flawlessly. As you can see, it is being tracked. And as far as I can tell, this is better than other softwares I've tried, like DaVinci Resolve. It is way better than the inbuilt tracking in DaVinci Resolve, even if this is just first generation. It taking, it's taking full advantage of the M1 chip and all the machine learning that is in here. So yeah, it is doing a great job at this. This is going to be really helpful for a lot of people and I hope this helps you as well. That's pretty much it with the new features in Final Cut Pro 10.6. But there's also something I would like to share before I end this video. If you're someone who doesn't like the notch on the new MacBook Pros, I've made something which lets you get rid of the notch instantly. And here's a video to show how that works. This shortcut is available on my website, so make sure you go check it out. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.